the show we have Justin Brenneman with us now and actually the only thing that I know about him is that he turns 21 in October Yay! okay and that's it that's all I know so um, let's start from scratch all right. you're a driver yeah um, you're a trainer so how do you become a driver trainer well it's kind of my family and parents and all they everybody in my family's had horses and stuff and it's just kind of something I always wanted to do and always really liked you know it's just been in my family you know pretty much forever really so is your dad Carl? Yes. Okay, because I seen the name Carl Brenneman, just wasn't sure if that yep. was your dad. Okay, yeah, that's so that's dad. your dad. So then what are your like obviously second generation? Are you also a third generation? Yes. Do your grandfather train? Yeah, grandparents on both sides of the family, aunts and uncles, or my uncle on both sides of the family, you know. Okay. So it's pretty much been in the family for a long time, I guess. <laughs> so now, you know how like everybody loves to go to Ocean City, okay? And go down there and have fun in the summertime. But this guy right here, you should be allowed to have that bumper sticker that says OC Native, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, because he, much, yeah. like, you grew up in Ocean City. Yeah. yeah. Did you like, go to high school there? Yeah, I graduated from Stephen Decatur and lived in Ocean City pretty much, you know, from the time I was a little kid until last year I moved to Laurel. You've won races at Colonial, yeah. Rosecroft, at Ocean Downs, yeah. but the other night you had your first uh, first state win, yeah. okay? Your yeah. first Delaware win right here in Harrington. Now tell me, who was the horse and tell me about that horse? Uh, the horse was G's Chris. We just bought her just before they closed here. I got the qualifier, the last qualifying day here, and had plenty of time to work with her and, you know, try and figure her out, I guess, during the break and all. And, you know, it looked like everything worked out well. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Okay, now we're going to get off the subject a little bit of racing. Okay. And um, why don't you tell me, what do you like to do for fun? Do you have any interests? Uh, not really. You know, I just like to, you know, hang out with my friends and go to the beach most. I love going to the beach. You know, it's, it's different, you know, living in Laurel now. It's a lot different change of scenery than, you know, Ocean City. Than, you know, I guess beach. it is, you know, right? There's huh? no beach around there. Right, but We're right. pretty close, so go okay. a lot. Not that you asked me this, but I'm so not a beach girl, you know, because <laughs> I'm not into, like, the whole skidding sand on yeah, me, you know? Yeah, a lot of people like and, that. Yeah, oh, good, then yeah. I'm not the only one. No, I mean, uh -huh. I love the ocean, but I could do without the beach. And I actually lived in Sarasota, Florida, like the most beautiful beaches in the world. Yeah. Now, back then in high school, was a beach girl, okay? But <laughs> now, not so much. You get older, it gets old, but I love me some spray tans, okay? <laughs> All right. Don't forget, also, when you go to the beach, you got to wear your sun protection. Oh, like yeah. 50 all right yeah. very important um, now do you have any um, guilty pleasures like any like TV shows you like to watch or? yeah I guess I like Jersey Shore but I I like it and then I don't like it at the same time it's you know it's a kind of a love-hate thing I guess you can say <laughs> no that, it, now that is a guilty pleasure I can't wait when they put the marathon on you know like on MTV <laughs> yeah. it's like all day of folding laundry yeah. and watching Jersey, watching Jersey Shore, Shore. Snooky, I just love Snooky. <laughs> now we're going to get into um, a couple fun questions okay, okay? Um, if you had a superpower what superpower would you like to have Mm, probably like being able to read people's mind you know it's kind of you know it's kind of different you know you know I like the movie where Mel Gibson played you know what women want he could read their mind it was you know it was weird watching it you know oh yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's a that's a really good superpower yeah. I don't know if I want to know what people are thinking <laughs> yeah, about that's a, me <laughs> that's another up and down situation there. another love-hate relationship exactly, there yeah. um speaking of movies if you had a movie made about your life, who would be your leading man? Would it be Mel Gibson? No, I like George Clooney a lot. I really like George Clooney. Pretty much all of his movies, I, you know, I really like. Yeah, yeah. He's got a, a lot of really, really yeah. great movies. Then, now it comes to the leading lady. Who would be the leading lady? You know, uh, what actress? Uh, I guess it's Julia Roberts. You know, I like her. Okay. She you know, plays many different roles in a lot of different movies, you know. She's a um. really good actress. I can see it. It's a blockbuster <laughs> hit. <laughs> Justin, thank you so much for being on the show yeah. and making your post-time debut. Right. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.